Conversion rate optimization, or CRO, is incredibly important, yet it's easily the least used digital marketing tactic. So let's break down what it means, why it's so important, and how you can use it to improve your website performance. And at the end, I'll share an actionable tip you can put into practice today. So CRO is simply the process of getting more of the people that come to your website to take whatever action that you want them to take, because that's all a conversion is. Whether that's buying something online, filling out a form, looking up directions, signing up for a newsletter, whatever matters to you. And we spend so much time and money and effort on driving more traffic to our websites, and that is really, really important. But what if we could get a higher percentage of conversions from that traffic, even by just a tiny amount? So let's say you're getting 500 unique visitors to your website per day, and you're converting at half a percent. That means that you're getting two and a half leads or sales or whatever's per day. Now, if you could increase that half a percent to just 0.6 percent, then all of a sudden you'd be getting three conversions per day. And over the course of a week, that's an extra three and a half. That is a Beatles-esque eight days a week level of performance from your website. In a month, an extra 15. Over the course of a year, 182. What kind of impact would an increase like that have on your business? Now, there's two factors in CRO that you need to consider. And the first is increasing incentive. In other words, how do you make people want to take the actions that you want them to take? Now, if you told me, and I believed you, that you would send me a Brinks truck full of gold bars, I'd fill out whatever information you wanted online. But sadly, most of us don't have an offer that universally attractive. So we have to look at the other factor, and that's decreasing friction. And friction is simply anything that makes the person less likely to take the actions that we want them to take. Like when you go to a website and they want you to create an account to make a purchase or to enter a physical address to download an ebook. So the biggest culprit that I see across the web is asking for too much information on form pages. And I'd like you to take a look at your website and ask yourself, do you really need all of that information that you're requesting? Are you doing it to make their lives easier? or yours. So that's your homework assignment. Look at your form pages and see what fields you could remove. Now be careful, the questions or comments box is actually the one field that improves conversion rates. So I'm curious, what are you going to test today to see how you can improve your conversions? Please let me know. Good luck and be generous with giving and accepting help.